Hi, this is Ebony from Boggles and Boops. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own wooden rat shelves for your cage. For my shelves, I'll be using slices of apple wood. When selecting your wood, it is important to make sure it is rat safe. I have also chosen a live edge style timber to match my naturalistic cage theme. The first thing you need to do is to mark the timber to divide it into the number of shelves that you want to make. Each shelf will need at least one straight edge to sit against the bars of the cage. You can make the shelves as large or as small as you like to fit your own setup and the amount of space that you have. At the end of this process, your timber will look something like this. The next step is to cut your timber. This can be quite messy, so I would recommend that you do this outside. Make sure that your timber is secure and well supported before you cut. We used a circular saw to make life easier, but a hand saw would work just as well and give you a good workout at the same time. After cutting your timber, you will need to sand any rough edges to ensure a smooth finish. After this, it's time to mark and drill the holes for the mounting hardware. You will need to drill at least two holes to make sure the finished shelf is secure when attached to the cage. We also used a simple jig to help us hold the timber in place and to ensure the holes were straight. You will need some wood to metal dowel screws. We used M8 80mm, but this may be different depending on the thickness of the timber you are using. As you can see, these have a wood screw on one end and a thread for a wing nut on the other. You can then screw these into the holes that you drilled earlier. Your finished shelves can now be attached to the cage using wing nuts and washers. As you can see, my girls are very happy with their new shelves. I hope that you found this video useful. If you would like to see more of my rats and my cage setup, please check out my Facebook and Instagram accounts, Boggles and Boops Small Pet Photography.